All right, and it looks like we are live. I wanted to start a stream earlier. I wanted to uh, do Knuckles Chaotix and then this game, but uh, I just got my external hard drive here. I transferred all the old files onto this new one, and that took over 24 hours. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I wanted to stream those yesterday, but uh, what are you gonna do? It takes a long time. So we're only going to do this one today. And now this game of uh, Calibri. Uh, if it feels uh, familiar, looks familiar to you guys, it's made by the same guy who did uh, Echo the Dolphin. Head of Nunziata. And yeah, now this one I got in uh, January 2016 for... $87.98 off Amazon. I got it CIB, but uh, the guy who sold it to me, uh, or a girl, I don't know which, uh, forgot the manual. I had it back and forth, but at the end of it, she just refunded uh, $10, so it was uh, $77.98. So, what I had to do, I did eventually get the uh, manual here. Now that took one year, five months, and 13 days to find a manual alone for sale on eBay. So, if you want to get these, you might want to get them CIB because you never know when you're going to get the manual loose or the box and insert loose or whatever. Might as well just spend a little bit extra and uh, get it up front. But, uh, I tried to do that, but, uh, they lost the manual. Uh, the manual I got for, uh, $24.99. So a little over, uh... $100 for the whole thing. But the, the price for it now, I forget, it's like going over, what's it, uh, 200 300 now? You know what, I'll look that up real quick before we get started. Yeah, the prices are going up way up high. I'm trying to quickly uh, get some of the games I really want before they go even higher. Alright, uh, CIB, uh, Two hundred and seventeen sixty-five. Sixty-five, yeah. Yeah, this is a very interesting manual. It uh, goes into more things besides just the game. Some hummingbird facts right here. Yep. It also has one of those flip book things. I uh, had the animation of a hummingbird flapping its wings. You want to learn how to make a hummingbird feeder? That's in there too. Yep, but uh, I'll read you the uh, story to this game because it doesn't tell you throughout the game here. Earth's mightiest hero. Earth is a living organism. Each life form on Earth is a cell of the greater whole. Deep inside the planet, a mysterious ancient crystal hums, radiance, and energizes Earth with its powerful life force. The ancient crystal is a gift from afar. Eons ago, deep in an unknown sector of the universe, a more highly evolved living planet exploded. A crystal with its mysterious life force was hurled into space. It rocketed towards Earth and buried itself deep in the planet's core. With this new energy, the young Earth began to breathe. The crystal was the heart that Earth needed to become alive. For millions of years, the crystal worked beneath Earth's crust, fueling evolution with its harmonious energies. A twin to the crystal had also been hurled into space. This dark crystal had been irradiated by the massive planetary explosion. It spent its ages 
falling through the vastness of space, festering, pulsating, and swelling with infection. Finally, the malignant crystal sped earthward and crashed into the planet. Now, with room to spread, the dark crystal spewed its malignant force into the earth. Like the worst pestilence, the cancerous growth swiftly invaded nature. It devoured Earth's life forms, changing them into gray, diseased shadows. Each life form, each cell of Earth's being, became a cancerous growth. Starved of the ancient crystal strength, nature's work of art sickened. Earth's began to die. Hey, Din Scourge. I don't know in this one you're a hummingbird. Alright, I'm uh, finishing up uh, this story. I don't know how, if you just got here or listened to the whole thing. Earth's crystal's last gasp. Deep underground, the Earth crystal felt the death pangs. The engulfing disease moved swiftly, nearly obliterating the crystal's power. With its dying strength, the Earth's crystal burrowed to the surface. At that moment, Calibri the hummingbird flew by. Sensing pure life, the Earth crystal infused the small bird. With its strength, Calibri becomes the antibody, empowered to combat the malignant. And from there, it tells you uh, what you did, what you're supposed to do in the uh, first level. A lot of people like to play this on emulator or not get the uh, manual on what to do. You gotta drink the orange flower. Hey there, Mike. You're a dolphin, although you probably slept with more than one human woman. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you heard about the uh, behind the scenes story to uh, Echo the Dolphin with that lady who jerked off at dolphins. Yeah, like I was saying, this game was made by the same guy who did Echo the Dolphin, Ed Annunziata. So that's why you're going to see some simula similarities here. And one last thing before we go uh, on the game. I saw this uh, card uh, that had some hummingbirds on it. So I kept it uh, for my sister's birthday. I had uh, this extra thing. We got that little thing right there with the hummingbird. And this was like the, uh, the barcode on Legend says the hummingbirds float free of time, carrying our hopes for love, joy, and celebration. The hummingbird's delicate grace reminds us that life is rich, beauty is everywhere, everything personal, every personal connection has meaning, and that laughter is life's sweetest creation. That definitely sounds like some that go to a plotline to this game. And we are playing this with the uh, composite cables, so now this used a lot of dithering, like the, the wings right there. If I was playing this with the uh, component cables, getting the RGB. Uh, that uh, Using the dithering, it just looks like a screen door that his fucking wings are. But here with the uh, lower quality signal that bleeds and blurs the, uh, the colors, it uh, does the transparency. And also there's dithering for road shading and giving it a higher color palette. So there were... Even when it's not doing transparency, it's doing that, so having the bleeding and blurring, it's going to look how it's supposed to. Now, a lot of other people will be uh, post it, play with the uh, emulator or using a higher signal. Yeah, I saw, I saw those videos with Larry Bundy and Slopes, but I think I also uh, read about it uh, in, uh, I don't know, some article beforehand before they did that. 45, 60 minutes. Alright. This one's uh, probably going to be an hour or so uh, long to beat. Uh, somebody did this on hard. It looks like it has the same ending, so we're just going to do it on normal. I practiced on normal, so we're going to do it on that as opposed to easy. This is a two-player game, but uh, I don't have anyone else uh, to play with. Uh, and you can change the controls, but uh, I like it where it's at. You have the. This is basically a space... Uh, spaceship shooter but as a hummingbird uh, there's some sections where it's free ro roaming and some that are auto scrolling 
Uh, burst uh, speed is smooth fast. Weapon is obviously to shoot. And A is uh, when you find the specials. We'll get to that when we play it. Uh, two ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to stick with the default. Basically when you fire, you keep firing in that direction and you can move around. The other way, uh, you just uh, move around and uh, that's where you'll shoot. So when you hold fire on the one that we're picking right here, you got... Uh, say if you're shooting right and whenever you move the controller, you still shoot right as you move around. Uh, I was playing on normal speed on uh, my test run, so we're going to keep it on that. Let's start the new game. Oh, hey there, Game Survivor. Oh, yeah, the nice music here. And like Echo the Dolphin, it, it starts in this introduction, introduction uh, level where it doesn't tell you what the fuck to do. Except lest here, since you can't talk to the hummingbirds. But uh, what we want to do is go down and to the right to find this um, this uh, flower to drink the nectar. Watch out for the toads, they kill you. Here it is. There we go, just uh, move up to it, no buttons needed. There's the crystal that created life on Earth. Now it's dying and it's given its power to uh, Calibri since it's nearby. Now our plot is to go kill the dark crystal before it kills everything. Warning signs. Alright, this level is uh, about killing all the insects, the evil insects. Is there any other type? Uh, from these things we can get different powers. Alright, that one uh, is probably the least I use. I mean, this one's uh, like a snake shield. Any enemies come by, I'll use it real quick. That ring is a shield, so you, uh, it doesn't uh, use up your life. Now, without a HUD, it, you can't uh, see how much uh, hit points you have until you're hit. I, I think uh, the max is four or five. That up there is your uh, special weapon. It's also another shield. I, nope, see, there it goes. Whenever an enemy's nearby, it uh, automatically homes in on them. Oh, and if you got it, you can stack the sh that uh, snake shield and uh, get something else. Another weapon. Yep. All right, those uh, black. See right there, it shows you how much uh, four hits. When you get the black balls with the yellow lines, that's uh, health up. All right, let's see. The rings are the rings. Uh, the gray, the uh, gray uh, uh, liquid is uh. It, uh, it, these upgrades, so there's uh, three upgrades, so you want to stack them on top of each other, and it, the, the gray liquid turns into a three-way. Oh, yeah, the, the line turns into the, you got more of the snake. There we go, we got the lasers, probably the most powerful weapon we have here, and it homes in when there's an enemy, but we won't be using it uh, right now. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, the clusters with the, the the red one. We'll be using... Oh, we got the triangle. That's probably one of the better ones. It, uh, it's a machine gun that locks on. But I'm going to use this one for right now. I see, that was easy. Oh, hey there, old school monster. Yeah, yeah it's a good one. It's uh, one of the more unique video games. Uh, along with the Echo the Dolphin, that this is made by the same guy and uh, company. Exactly, Mike. Yeah, see, with the uh, cluster, it uh, fills up the whole uh, level. And watch out for the when you kill enemies, they bring out the other weapons. All right, we got the ring shield that'll help us. And, uh, and when you get hit, you lo it lowers the upgrade, so watch out for that. So that's why one, another reason besides losing a health, you'll lose your upgrades. Yep, right there. See, I still have my upgrades and didn't lose the health when I got hit there. Oh, got hit there again. And as you can see, I'm just holding the button, and you see I'm just uh, shooting in one direction. Stay in that direction. Oh. Now, this doesn't lock on, but uh, fucks everything up. That's on on screen. Nope, that's the laser. Don't want that. I think the, uh... I think the red wasps, uh, respawn the, uh... Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, fuckers. At least got another health here. Up, see how it uh, downgraded. See how it's not rapid. I'm getting fucked up here. Now we can, uh. Just gonna. I think we'll take the laser for now. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta watch out for those toads, it's since the kill. Yeah, this one's more powerful, but it's uh, slow. Yes, you wanna kill the red one there, yeah. Coming birds come. I actually got the triangle one, the triangle machine gun power up. That seems like the best. Because, as you can see, there's a lot of swarms of enemies, so. It's better to have uh, those machine gun type weapons with a three way. There we go. Eight something that was dolphin safe. Uh, yeah, this is the cartridge. Yep, yep, yep. I got this uh, CIB. And it's going for over 200 now. Lucky I got it when I did. Eruption. Let's see. I got my notes here. This is going to be a quick and about, about a little over an hour if I don't fuck up. All right, now this level has these ticks blocking the way, and uh, we gotta kill them before we can uh, move on, and then we gotta get exit the the level at an exit, as opposed to just killing everything and we leave instantly. I bl there we go. Right, I don't think we need that at the moment. Uh, let's see. I really want it. Yep. See now I can kill it. Where's uh? Let's go for the grave right now. Way. Yeah, rapid fire is what I need. I said the, uh, but the laser will be uh, definitely uh, be used at the end of the game when there's a boss. Oh fucker! Nope, oh, at least got the gray back. There it is. Once you kill them all, then it comes after us. Oh, fucker.
Wait, I can kill him now. Come on, come on. Alright, uh, great liquid, great liquid. I ain't foolish enough to go up there. There it is, the exit. Oof. Infestation, I believe this is an auto scroller. Yeah, auto scroller, just go right. Use cluster bombs. Take the gray liquid first and then use the clusters. This fucks everything up. You see the they get in the way, fuck you up on what you're using. Yeah, this is it. Ah! Got me. That fucking frog. Yeah, that frog's instant kill him. This is definitely an artistic game. Some of the scrolling levels, uh, they have to come up and sneak up behind you, which is a fuck you. Go. Oh. There he is. Pretty low effort. Oh, it gets harder later on. About the halfway point, it starts getting hard. This lulls you into a false sense of security. Alright, expiry. Oh, this is the one with the split path. Basically, we go all the way to the left to get the uh, the bombs to blow up. The, there, there's some rocks that block way that you gotta blow up with the uh, yellow star bombs. Collect those. The, uh, the liquid blob, pick that up that uh, speeds you up. We're gonna need that get uh, through this wind and a frog we got all right so it's ba basically the level path is like an h you go left to right and then in the center is a waterfall we gotta go down and then we go left to the exit this is uh fine fuck you that wind yeah here it is press a to go blow it up and there you go not too difficult metastasis test test yeah, it's still working auto scroller no oh, this one I might die this one is uh, not just going from left to right this one goes up down back around 
I think I'll stick with the three-way since it has some homing. See, that can fuck you up. Oh, I didn't want that. There we go. I hate how the enemies change direction, because it takes a second before you can turn in this uh, control way. Suicidal, that, that's another instant kill. Fucking respawning enemies here. Watch out, there's gonna be a flower here that can instant kill you. Watch out for the. It's in between the fucking frog. There we go, got it. Fucking swarm! I got some, uh, I think I, I forgot, I think I had the special, that the shield. I, I'm not sure if it carries over. Didn't, didn't press it in time. I'll try this. Got it, haha. Uh -huh. Nope, I don't have the uh, fucking. Ugh, don't have enough, uh, health here. That last fucking part. With all that fucking swarming. Left and right, left and right, doesn't- they don't stick to one side. Well, I th I'll try- I'll try the snake shield this time, see if this is any better. This way I don't have to turn around and automatically goes after them. Yeah, I think this is better than Snake Shield.
I keep thinking they're shooting at me, but it's the uh, snake shield coming back. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna beat this now. Got the right tool for the job. Yeah, I'm just dodging my own fucking fucking shield. Thinking it's a projectile coming out of the other guys. Yeah, th th yeah this is easier, so I don't have to turn around. Yeah, all that shit with the snake shield. Get a little slow down there. All this fucking swarming bees. Oh, there you go. There's your answer. Just get, use a snake shield for there. Then they get hit in one sight, I believe. New infection. We're almost halfway through the game, and it's only been mm, half hour or so. Bottom left, two shields, triangle, lots of swarms here. Bur so, swarms, bur stick with the snake shield. Exit upper right, blocked. Yellow bombs, bottom right. Alright. Alright, this is a, uh, we gotta look through a tunnel. Oh! I've got to go for that shield at the bottom. Fucking things in my way. Oh. Oh. Almost halfway, uh... We're at level 8. There's, uh... Oh. There we got the shield. Probably gonna die though. Not the best for this area. Oh, look at this new weapon, bouncy. Watch out for those uh, big drips. Tell you. <clears throat> Do not give me that bullshit. Safeway's going up this way. Going around. Oh! Shally. Get the fuck out of here is what I gotta do. There it is. And there, there we go. Alright. Deep seating. Up is shield. Super speed. Right is, uh... Yellow bombs. Dead end. Go back up, right... That's 
take this with me. Alright, we gotta go right here and get the, uh... Uh, see you, Mike. Oh. Now you gotta take your time. Don't want to go too fast. But you don't want to go too slow because uh, those swarms. There we go. That's what we needed over here. And then we gotta go all the way up and around. Fucking! Go up and around to the exit. Oh my god, oh my god. Get that shit out of my fucking face. Uh oh. Okay, looks like we're back. Test the chat. See, they're only in the Western Hemisphere. Hummingbirds, even though this looks like Africa. Alright, good. The chat's still working. Watch the Lion King. They're making this. This might be South America. Yeah, they definitely made this easier than Echo the Dolphin. The reason why Echo was so hard is uh, he didn't want uh, anyone beating it from a rental. Yeah, he made a tweet about that. He's like, I'm sorry to make it that hard. Oh. Terra Legion. Nope, it's the ticks again. We gotta kill them before we can move on. Don't want that one. Ah, uh, this is in a three-way. How about the triangles? Those are better. This bullshit. I'll take this for now. More powerful than the uh, snake. Snake shield. This is the most powerful one, but it's not great for swarms. Yes, yeah, so you got rid of those ones in one shot. Yeah, I know. I'm not a fan of the uh, fucking ring. Oh, this is even worse, fuck. I'll take. I'll go back to this snake shield.
See, not too difficult in some of these levels. Terra Decay. Follow big scary bug to the exit. Okay. Yeah, we need him to open up the uh, gate. Yeah, I think I'll go three way. Snake Shield is just a little underpowered. With these uh, guys that shoot protect projectiles, we want to kill them before they can even shoot. And he's, I still got some residual. Ooh, look at this, we got the uh, machine gun here. This one's probably one of the more useful. Useful weapons here. Here it is, there's that gate we need him for. And some slow got the triforce. Open the damn door. And it gives you plenty of time to get in. See so slowly closes. Cold entrance. Uh ba, 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 ba. Down is power up and blocked. Right, dead end, and the uh, yellow bombs. So we'll go right. Exit right, going right. Oh, there they are. Nope, don't want those. Oh yeah, we need that rock to open that shit. Oh my god, oops. Oh yeah, it's left and up, I said. Oh, lucky me. Dark cavity. Down, dead end, and blue blob. Up and right block. Go down and stay near platform. Watch trip. I think I know what this one. Go up. Yellow bomb here. Backtrack. Up and right block. Go down. Get new control, the wires are all fucked. says we're back. Okay, 
takes so long to get a good weapon. Yeah. Now you can just farm right here, it looks like. snake. That's a laser. I mean, you'd think the laser would be a, a blue. Blue fucking. Blue line, but no, not the case. Alright, there's, there's a block where we gotta come back from. That's the exit. Oh, you gotta hold it. Well, that makes life a whole lot easier. Stay on the bottom so that. Dark obstruction. Push bomb and blocks to the left. Fall left down. Yellow. All right, gotta go left. Push. Yeah, see that thing right? Th Whoa, watch that. Yeah, it's it's like a. Don't shoot the tail. That's that. That's its fuse. Good to know. I think it responds. There we got it going. Oh. <sighs> I get the uh, yellow bombs are this way. Um, not good. Oh, you piece of shit. Bad for pushing it. Shit going on. Yeah. Suck me in now, faggot. Oh, we can't go down that way. 
Okay, backtrack. A lot of respawning enemies. That's annoying. They blow it up. Now, finally, your first checkpoint in the game, you gotta hit these big old uh, crystals. Yup! Oh. Wait for that big blob, that one kills you instantly. Watch out for that shit, go somewhat slowly. We always have a platform so it sticks. Nope, oh, that's a close one. So you can see it coming and when to dodge. right there. Now the exit's to the right, but of course we need the, uh, the yellow bombs. It seems like there's points where you lose all of them even though you got a bunch of them. They just disappear. I hate shit like that. That's bad level design. You should think of a better way or don't have to give you so many of them. Eh, well, laser are just going to take them away even though you just got some. Alright, now this. This is what we got to do. Just don't get crushed. You can touch them, but just don't get crushed. There you go. Checkpoint. Uh-oh. The asteroid's back. Mecco. Right, try, try not to touch it. Could use a fucking... Wind's pushing us. Get crushed. Get wait until those go up and then speed on through. And don't get hit. Yeah, up and to the left is where the uh, yellow bombs are at. Then we got a back Trojan before. The fuck is that laser? You fucking just stay. Watch out for the chameleons. Got some more of them up here. Now you can go back the way you came, or you can uh, go down this way. Now we gotta go to the uh, right again. Don't get crushed. Whoop. Yup, there goes my shield. Yup. Oh.
Alright, says we're back. Lost connection there for a second. I hate this bucket. And that bullshit. There we go. Now this one was a tough one uh, on the practice run. To the light. Level 16. We're quickly going through with this. Fork, right is a dead end and the yellow bombs. All the other way to blocks, to big chamber, three paths down. Now we can't even go up it. Almost got hit there. Alright, I mean, that big chamber was the fucking notes say. says we're back. Right, here's where we're supposed to go. And over to our left. That's where it should be. Not too far. Oh, there it is. Oh, good. Checkpoint. But the snakes. We got the snake. No, of course not. Alright, what's coming up is... Hmm. Uh, they're hard to kill, but uh, there's these... Pillars coming down that block them in. We gotta wait, 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 and then go. Boom. Burst of speed. Now it looks like we're reconnected. I don't know, know if you saw we uh, got through there. We rushed up with the uh, burst of speed. Oh my god, the connection. Garbage. Alright, this is a auto scroller. Oh. I'm not sure if we're gonna need the snake shield. I forget if there's any swarms. They're good for whenever you're swarmed.
go for them frogs. Frogger's revenge. Oh, look at this, we're coming to a temple. Not too difficult. I think that we got another auto scroller. Use three way. Wait, no, no. Right, use snake. Snake. I don't know any snakes. This must uh, come from behind. Oh, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, they're coming from behind, that's why I said get the snake for that one. I take it we might might be in the fucking Amazon. Fuck you in the ass. All this shit going on, there's nowhere to move. I hate bullet hells. That's why the uh, fucking shooters aren't my favorite genre. There's shit like that. Nowhere to go. Spaceship shooter set is. One thing about the uh, fucking snake shield, I I keep thinking I'm getting shot up, but no, it's just my shield returning. Fuck you in the dick. I didn't want that. Yeah, see that one coming from fucking behind? Bottom doesn't kill you or hurt you. Fucking dick. Want to end this stage already? Good. Penetration. That sounds sexual. Push the bomb towards the triangle. Oh, no, we get the triangles to push the bomb. All right, basically blow open the hole uh, that's to the right and then follow the big bug to exit the level. Yep. Just making sure I got, uh... We're full up. Watch out for the fuse. I first I'm gonna clear the area before we get down there. We got a snake. I don't think this is to scale. We're gonna go, go into a temple soon. It's gonna be awfully small. Now this is a pain in the ass, even though it's short. Gotta watch out for that fuse. It's best to push it on the floor. So it's easy to push forward. You know, about two burst or three burst. Did I get it? And we gotta push it all the way there. Pain in the ass. Trying to work for me. Of 
progress closer. It's uh, got it. There he comes. Well, not too. I guess the, the, the biggest, the, not short level, because that had been a pain in the ass. Oh, hey, hey there, Legacy, uh, Legacy Collector. Yeah. Yeah, it's made by Ed Annunziata, the same guy who did uh, Echo the Dolphin. Also did uh, Mr. Bones, did uh, Three Dirty Dwarves. He did the first Spider-Man for Genesis, by extension, the Sega CD version, too. He did uh, Chi-Con, the uh, Forever Man. Yeah, he did a lot of original games. Now this is, I believe this is uh, pretty linear. Oh, let me just check my uh, notes. Uh, ba -ba, what I say? Oh, we're almost done with the game. I on my notes. Uh, most of the game fits on two pages. The last level fits on one side of a page. Alright, down, right, uh, blocks, go left. Blocks, go left. And then right to the yellow bone. Fuck you. This infinite spawning bullshit. Down, right. All right, that's it. go left and down. Uh, you gotta go further down. There we go. That's what my notes meant. Leave one way loops. Oh yeah, this is the one that loops around, and then we gotta go back up. That destroys those fucking flowers. Now we gotta get up to there. There's a checkpoint. Uh, bu -bu -bu checkpoint up and further follow big legs kill it get yellow bomb up oh, all right we're almost there yeah I guess shoot it with the uh, triangles to make it go faster hey I was gonna at you. I think they're called walkers though. Uh oh, we got another one following us.
There we go. Gives us one. To open that. Yeah, I think I'll take the laser. Last level. This one's gonna be a long one. Remission. Uh, linear start. Yeah, yeah, this is what the walkers are. I'm almost at last level. Almost done. Probably an hour and a half, since I know what I'm doing. I didn't have that long introduction, about an hour. Alright, we can farm right here. Let me check what we I know we need a weapon to push the walkers. Use triangles to push. Alright, we need the triangles. See, that's why I gotta write things down. They so don't forget. There's one of them. Yeah, it's hard to tell when you got the uh, fully upgraded laser. Alright, that, that feels like it's fully upgraded to me. Now we can farm down here. Uh, yeah, right here, just uh, kill eating up, see if we got some uh, health. Got some. And yeah, just go back and forth until we're fully healed. Now there's two of them. If you don't shoot them fat, this one fast enough, you'll be crushed by the other one. one. I keep forgetting about the gun. I think this cocksucker's in tides of time. Echo the dolphin. Yeah, the other one just appeared behind us. I tried everything, and it always comes behind you. The thing only dies when I get to the end. Oh, yeah, come down here for the shields. Nope, got that. Oh, the other one wants to fight you, too. It didn't hit me, though. You see how it get, got rid of the fucking... Fucking other yellow bomb. Now there should be a, a checkpoint coming up. Let me read the uh, notes. Uh, go. Bug chase, go up and left to checkpoint. Oh. get these bombs up here then we gotta go further up there's a shield up here 
now this loops around these two uh, pathways, so don't worry about that. Now we're gonna have an Indiana Jones moment. Quickly go burst. Controls are fucking up. This is all torn up. But at the end, I break. I break get a new one, new controller. I mean, I don't know if it's the game because it, it's supposed to feel like a hummingbird flying. So we're like the people complain about Echo how it uh, didn't control. Well, it was supposed to control like a dolphin. So I don't know if it's my controller or the game, but uh, if you have it. Yeah, it's best to boost forward instead of a diagonal. Oh shit, look at that cocksucker. Good thing I had that shield. Took a goddamn bite out of me. Pain in the ass when they respawn. I don't, I'm not, are they a snake? Are those type of snakes bigger than hummingbirds? I don't think this is a, exactly the scale. Checking the notes real quick. Um, I think we go down and there should be a, uh... Yeah, the block, blocked way should be down here somewhere, and then we go, gotta go, yep. Turn around. Then we gotta go up. Hug the wall. Go left. Now the split path, we're gonna go up, because the checkpoint is here. It's gonna loop around to where we need to go. Got some special here too. It's always useful. Don't eat me. Another special. Now a little bit further down will be the checkpoint. Good thing they got checkpoints in here. There it is. As you can see, we have no HUD, so I have no idea if, uh, how much health I have. Alright, there's their bombs. Now we gotta backtrack to those rocks that I was at. Oh! Never mind, gotta go get it again. I knew it was risky. Alright, guess we got, we won't go after it again. As long as we got the shield, we'll be semi-okay. But at least I know I'm just one hit away from death. Grab them and get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, you... Oh, wait, no, that was an insta-fucking-kill bullshit. Alright, we'll stick with this for now. Stuff, uh, hug the wall right, and I'll lead us back to where we need to be. Alright, we. Fuck you in the dick! At least you're getting a good uh, look at where to go. Oh, I went too fast. Nice. 
these fucking respawning enemies with their fucking lasers are a pain in the ass. This time, hug the wall going up, but uh, not going down. That douchebag. Are you serious? All right, uh, pop, pop, pop. Is that sphere? Yellow one. So, actually, next follow big bug. After gate, after gate left is checkpoint. I right, follow the big bug and. Uh, Is up oh, there, it is. Dick. I keep, I, I th I'm thinking that's the fucking. Fucking snake shield. So we need him to open that, then we go this way, and there's a checkpoint. Head up, and second left up for another checkpoint. Alright, so we continue going that way. Not that one. Well, I think I'll take it. This might be the roof. It's douchebaggery. And here we are, use this here ahead of time. Now we gotta make our way down to there. You gotta go down two uh, wind tunnels. That's how you know you're going the right way. Stick to the left and go down. Down. That's the other one. Keep going left. Then we make our way up. That's the way, right there. Here we gotta go down lower. Fuck. Oh, we'll find out in a second. Hey, and Jesus Chrysler. Oh god, get the fuck out of here. Now oh, we gotta go back the way we came. At least I know that's where we died. Fucking roof. Oh god. I'm 
Oh god, you fucking piece of shit. First time through, I figured it out. Alright, let's see. Checkpoint up here. Yellow bombs. Backtrack down two wind tunnels. Then left up. Left. Checkpoint. Alright, so I I'll start going left and up. Ah, there we go. Found it. Get going. Fucking hell. Oh. <clears throat> uh, no, I did not play Epidia. Hey there, Emerald. Never played Agony. Ah, we're playing Zombie. Are you, uh,. Well, I'm at the last level. I'll be done with this in a few minutes as long as I don't fuck up. Survive so seven hours, died because a friggin' zombie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should do a practice run on the uh, easier modes first. Map everything out. A lot of the shit is scripted, so you'll know where the ambushes are. Yeah, I played it, uh, I think, easy once or twice. Maybe three times, and then tried the uh, survival mode. Uh, got that on my third attempt. First time I died was uh, where the carbine is, where that ambush is. As you open that up, they all come out uh, there. The second time, I forget where the fuck I died. It was, it was close to the beginning. But I originally thought I'd be... I'd die at the uh, fucking... At the, uh, the arena where you lose all your weapons, but that wasn't the case. Oh, you piece of shit, cocksucker. I just want to see what's this way. Is there any items? I gotta risk it now.
Oh, why couldn't you be a good boy? Oh, fuck. You don't want to shoot it here. Watch it. Make sure that... Yeah. You should see that's detrimental. Oh. Checkpoint. I think this might be the last checkpoint, uh, and then we're at the final boss. Yep, I think this is the final boss. We're gonna need the laser. Oh, yep, this is boss time. There's four phases. Now this boss has turns. Just, uh, first phase is easy. Just, uh, take him out one by one. Now we got plenty of shields here, so don't be afraid to go back. Alright, that's first phase. Second phase is a, another turn, but with that clusters. Take out these uh, bees over here. Of course, the laser being the most powerful one. Oh. Once we destroy this one. I could really use some health here, I think. I mean, it's a lot slower if you use any other weapon. Yeah, see, there's a lot of shields over here. Up there. Health, definitely. Oh, it's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I stick to, uh... Oh, I killed it. Oh, better get my shield. Basically, just stay there. Watch. Yes, yeah, just get. Oh, no, oh, good. Didn't hit me. Watch out. Get close. That seems to be best. Up. Oh, that definitely hit me. Now go back for another shield. Now you're gonna be fighting uh, some other hummingbirds, mechanical hummingbirds, tentacle hummingbirds. It's the stick and move, stick and move. Oh, we're gonna go back. Oh, I didn't get hit. I thought. Oh, now I got hit. Now just uh, once you hit him, stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. that happens, go get another shield. Be generous on the shields, though. Oh, oh shit, is that... What the fuck? That, yeah, we're on the fourth phase. Get the little... Uh, that dark crystal, that's what you gotta kill. Alright, there we go, beat the game. There we go. Now oh, we're in 40 minutes. Well, cut off like 15 minutes, so, um... I saved all the other hummingbirds on the earth. Yeah, this is very artistic paint. Congratulations, you saved the world. Thanks, Emerald. Are uh, you going to be playing zombie uh, next? I'll watch that. If you're going to be playing it uh, in a second. Staff. Enunziata EE. -E. Game design, Nunziata, EE. -E. I'm seeing a little glitch into the left. Is that happening? Uh, does that anybody else's uh, cartridge? I've noticed that on my practice run, or maybe I just need to clean it. Oh, thanks, Legacy. I wanted to do uh, 
Knuckles Chaotix uh, before this. I wanted to do two today, but uh, like I said, I got my uh, uh, external hard drive, and I was transferring all the, that to the new one. That took about 24 hours. I wanted to do the playthrough yesterday, but uh, I had to transfer all that data. Mm, Fridays and Saturdays. Oh yeah, they're, they're quick quick to finish if you know what you're doing, but uh, there's a lot of hard ones. Uh, uh, virtual Racing, you gotta beat that on hard. Reading in the comments, a lot of people never beat it. Uh, Cosmic Carnage, uh, it's easy to beat, but uh, not get the good ending. The good ending's a lot harder. You gotta beat that very fast. Very few people can uh, beat that. I managed to do that. Uh, uh, Star Wars Arcade, that's another hard one. I was uh, one of the first people to do an upload uh, on that. I'll explain that a little bit later. That's also another hard one that many people can't do. Uh, then we got some of the arcade games. Uh, Space Harrier is pretty hard. Although I never played that version. I played the one on Shenmue. Where you only have three lives. But on the 32X it seems to get more lives. So I, I, when I get that one I'll find out if that's just as hard as the Shenmue version. Uh, what else is hard? But uh, other than the difficulty, they, yeah, they are short. You can get them done in under an hour. As you can see, I'm just beating them like, like that, doing two a day. Unlike the N64 games that uh, take uh, like five hours or so, that's when games started to get longer. Not too long, but uh, at that, the fifth gen. Not like today where everything has to be a fucking 30 hours to beat. What else is hard? My cock. Yeah, yeah. That like I was saying, the graphics on this it makes it like real artistic, like a painting. And the music sounds like something in an art gallery. Yeah, I got uh, fucking Fred Couples golf on its way. It might arrive tomorrow. If uh, shipping is, uh, they don't, they fucking don't drag their ass. But, uh, yeah, this one was a good one. Uh, made by the same guy who did Echo the Dolphin, so that's why, if, if you're noticing some similarities, that's why. This one's a little bit easier. I think more people would like this one a little more, whereas Echo was hard as hell. Thanks for playing Calibri. Jason has tattoos of hummingbirds. Uh, was that because of this game? Yeah, I'd recommend you getting it. If anyone wants to get this, I'd recommend getting it soon before the prices go higher. The CIB is going for over 200. I managed to get mine for technically under for 80. Well, then the refund at 70, and then I had to buy the manual that didn't come with it. So a little bit over 100. Yep, very unique. You can't get it anywhere else. I don't think it's been ported anywhere else. So, if you want to play this, you got buy, buy it up for the 32X. He likes butterflies and hummingbirds. Looks like an Amiga game. Like it stopped. Well, the uh, company's uh, from Hungary. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the Amiga would be popular there, so that's maybe one reason why it looks like that. Yeah, those uh, computers seem to be popular in the uh, Europe. Weren't too popular here. I think the uh, Colleague, no, 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 Commodore 64 was uh, popular here, although I never seen the one. It was mostly the Apple II is what I saw back then that was popular. Used to be in all, in all the schools. Yeah. Showing off the 32x power, all the uh, extra colors and shit.
Oh yeah, and it's two players. You know what? I might show that off before I leave. I'm just gonna put everything away. Then I'll show that two player off real quick. And then I'll shut it down, so last comments. second player just yet. Uh, yeah, this is exclusive to the uh, 32X. If you want to play this, you gotta get it on there. As far as I know, it's never been ported. Alright, here we go. Two players. This, could, this looks like it would be fun on two players. I, to, I did get to play uh, Knuckles Chaotix two players, but uh, did not this. Oh, I think on easy we get five hits. Huh. There you go. Yeah, I only beat this game uh, three times. Once on easy years ago when I got it. Once for the practice, one on normal, and uh, third time here. You bastards. I managed to beat that two players by myself. Oh, hey there, extra slope. Well, I uh, just beaten this. Uh, I'm about ready to shut down, so you might want to re watch this. I go through it and explain it. I went through this on uh, normal mode. It's not too hard. It's a. Uh, Spaceship shooter, but except the spaceship is the hummingbird. Uh, it's a somewhat of a hitting gem. I like it. I usually don't like the uh, spaceship shooter genre because all the uh, bullet hells bullshit, nowhere to hide. But uh, this one is a free roaming one with some uh, auto scrolling levels. Not too difficult on normal. But uh, I'd rec if you see it, I'd recommend it. Yeah. Right now, CI... I'll, ch I'll check the prices. Real I know, I just checked it earlier. It was uh, $200 CIB. Uh, but of course, you know, can always get it uh, loose. Uh, let's see. Loose, loose. How much is it loose? Cleavery. Loose is $116.43. Uh, I'd probably recommend it. You can only get it on the 382X. So I'd recommend it for that price. Although it would have been better if you got it when I got it. I got it uh, a little bit over for 100 CIB. Would have been cheaper if they, they didn't uh, lose the manual. Would have gotten it for 80. But uh, I'd recommend it. It's uh, 217 CIB over here on price charting. Or if you really want to get new, 400. Uh, 3166 for brand new. <coughs> yep, like I said, uh, this was made by the same guy who did Echo the Dolphin, so if you want something similar, the Echo the Dolphin games are cheaper, although harder. And they, those aren't really, uh, Spaceship shooter genre. It's uh, definitely its own unique thing.
Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, ah, last comments and then I'm gonna shut down. Have it on your Xbox emulation machine. It has over 9K ROMs. Well, I'd recommend it. Uh, give it a shot if it's on there. And if you have any trouble, I just did a playthrough. As far as I know, I'm I'm the only one that did a commentary, audio commentary on what to do. I know there's some playthroughs, but uh, they don't explain what the fuck is going on, where you, where they're going. I hate that shit. I can see what they're doing, but uh, why are they doing? Is there anything efficient? Are they doing glitches and whatnot? Not explained. But uh, here I'll, I explained it somewhat efficiently. Uh, thanks, Emerald. All right. Uh, it's an hour and fifty-two minutes. Just under two out. Well, finished earlier, but. Uh, Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Probably tomorrow we'll do Knuckles Chaotix. And uh, after that, uh, I have a Star Wars Arcade and then Fred Couples on its way. And then I'll be done with the 32X games that I own. And then we'll be back onto the N64 games with uh, Majora's Mask. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>